Good evening, teacher. No tiene audio, teacher. Hello, hello, people. I'm sorry, I was on a phone call. Okay. How are you, people? How was your weekend? Very good. Very good. Great, let me see the platform. Let me see if you finish the exercise. <laughs> Veamos a ver si terminaron o cómo van. Oh, very good, very good. Let me see. Ah, nice. Homework four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ay, six. Seis me faltan con el homework four. El examen final, one, two, three, four. A ver aquí. Um, five, six, seven, eight. Bueno, seis me faltan todavía de la tarea cuatro y ocho del examen final. Solo les queda hoy y mañana. Mañana yo a la medianoche, a la hora del, del susto, estoy subiendo las notas. ¿Verdad? Como estén. Así es que pongámonos las pilas ahí, ¿verdad? No he visto al detalle quiénes son, ¿verdad? Así es que ahí ustedes tomen lo que les corresponde. Ustedes ya terminaron, como dicen los 
los mensajes de cobro, haga caso omiso de este mensaje. ¿Verdad? Pero si no, si está entre los seis que no han terminado la tarea cuatro y entre los ocho que no han terminado el examen final, Liz tiene esta noche, el día de mañana, y mañana de diez a once cincuenta y nueve. Ajá, de guardar los mensajes. Ok. Va pues, después no vaya a estar diciendo, es que el teacher no me puso la nota. Nada que ver. Muy bien. Well, today we are going to continue with lesson four. Ya, yeah, vamos a dejar esto de la complaint form para mañana, que es el día del review. ¿Verdad? De la unidad 4. Eh, mañana vamos a hacer varios ejercicios. De repaso. Porque hoy nos terminamos el libro, el manual. Mañana vamos a tener práctica. Así es que vamos a dejar eso de la complaint form para mañana. Voy a traer otro formato. También por ahí tengo un formato. Ocupamos el del manual o el que yo les traiga para trabajar un poco en eso también. Ok. Let's take the first attendance of the evening. Alison Andrea Serrano Madrid. Okay. No speaking. <laughs> Carla Yasmin Rivera Flores. Okay. Carlos Jonathan García. Carlos. Jonathan se nos ha dado a la fuga. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Ok. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present, teacher. Ok. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present. Ok. Gilberto Benito Santa María. Present teacher. Good. Jennifer Guadalupe Elías. Well, Present. Ok. José Andrés Martínez. No ha venido. Julio César Fabián. Present. Okay. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present, DJ. Ok. ¿Está fallando el Inter o la cámara, Edwin? No sé si me escucha. Omar Alexander Chávez. Present, DJ. Ok. Eh, Raúl Edgardo Sarceño. ¿Ah? Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez. Present teacher. Ok. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present. Ok. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez. Present teacher. Ok. Vladimir Alejandro García. Ahí está. William Boris Roque. Present, teacher. Ok, William. Los 10 minutos al final de la clase son contigo, ok. Ok. Y William Rodrigo Ángel, que también parece que se dio a la fuga. Ok. 
Ok. Vladimir Alejandro García. Por ahí veo, pero no te escucho. Present. Ok, ya llegaste. Present. Ok. A ver, Raúl Edgardo. No, no ha llegado. José Andrés. Tampoco. Carlos Jonathan. Tampoco. Ok, let's get started with our manual. Let me share the screen. Ok. At the end of this class, you will be able to make polite requests. Make polite requests. Oh, my God. I don't know why Zoom is too slow. Okay, do you ever make requests? What kind of requests do you make? Hmm. What is the meaning of request? Who can tell me? What is the meaning of request? Hmm, I'm waiting. Requisito. Requisito. No, se me hace que te estás dejando ir por el parecido con el español. Pedido. Solicitud. <risa> solicitud. Ajá. Como sustantivo, solicitud. Correcto. También funciona como verbo, solicitar. Okay. Do you ever make any kind of request in your in your work? Ustedes hacen o solicitan algo en su trabajo? Yes. Like what? I request um corre in correction in in document. <laughs> ah, okay. You request cor corrections. Mm -hmm. Alguien más? No. Eh, eh, pedido, teacher. Pedidos, ya. Yeah. No. When you when you ask for something, okay, that is a, a request. Now, when you need something, something that you need. Let's take a look to this short conversation to see an example of people making some requests. It's a conversation between Max and Joe. Let me record the conversation here for you. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for peeps.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh. It's an Ultipage MX30. Okay, first make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, 
check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay. One more time. Let me read it again for you. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for pips.com. We received a new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an old page MX. 30. Okay, first make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay. Let's practice. Repeat after me. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hello, this Max. is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for pips.com. We received a new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? Hi Max. Hi, Max. My Hi, name is Joe. I work, work for, for tips.com. We received a new printer and I need help setting it up. Oh, Could you help me, please? Could you tell my please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an old page MX30. Let, Let me check. Can you can hold you on a second, please? Oh, it's an old page MX30. Okay, the board is plugged in. Okay, first, that the power card is in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? All right. All right. It is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Next, please. Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Second. Second. Check, check that the installation the CD is in the tray. In the and third, and third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay. Um, any question with the conversation so far? No, teacher. No. no. Call, call podría traducirse como podría. Yes. yes that's right. Good. Okay. Uh, now let's practice again. I am Max and you are Jose. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pips.com. We received a new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? Okay. 
No problem, Joe. You tell me the model. Let me check. Okay. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, oh it, uh, it's a multi page MS30. Okay. First, make sure that the power cord is on is plugged in. All right. It is. It is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay, let's switch. You are Max and I am Joe. You begin on, on my count. One, two, Three. Hello. Hello. This is Matt from TechSport. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pips.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Would you help me, please? No problem, no problem Joe. Joe. Could you tell me the model? Me the model? Let me check. You hold on a second, please. Um, it's an multi page MX 30. Okay. Oh, First, okay. make sure that the power card is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, Second check that the installation the CD is in the tray. In the tray. And third, third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. All right. Okay. So it's time to practice. Okay, I will send you to work in pairs and please complete the or practice the conversation. And secondly, complete these sentences. Actually, these are questions. Fill in the blank. Use the conversation above to help yourself. Okay, complete these questions. Okay, following the model of the conversation. Right. Let me send the copy or the screenshot to WhatsApp with the conversation and the questions. There you are. And now let me Okay. Join your groups, practice the conversation, complete the questions, and see you in around 10 minutes. You.
Fer me sacó de la, de la reunión el internet de Grupo 2. Voy, 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 Omar. Grupo 2. Ok. Ahorita. Ahí está.
Denme un momento que eso de compartir el escritorio no me funciona. Se llevaron mi lápiz. Ya regreso. Ok. Okay, so let's start with Daniel, Ernesto, and Jennifer. Okay. Hello, this is Max from the Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pixcom. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joy. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an ulti page NX30. Okay. First, make sure that, that the power core is plugging in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check the check that the installing installation CD is in the tray. In third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay, thank you. Okay, next. Oh, 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 and Virginia. Okay, Deja. Hello, this is Max from Protect Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Hoy. I work for Speaks the Con. With, with busy, the new printer. And it new helps selling it on. Can you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Call, call you tell, tell me the mother. Let me check on. Can you hold on second, please? Um, is on put the place. Uh, em, 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 okay, first make make sure that the power core is fluid ring. All right, is all right, it is conjured the mute and what I knew. Please. Second, check that the Check that the installation CD is the right and three when the medium up appears on the screen, screen clip on com complete, complete, complete is, is store, complete is store. Okay. Next, please, Edwin and Julio. Okay. Hello, 
This is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pitch.com. We receive it in the new plane, and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on the second, please? Oh, it's an up the page, MX30. Okay, first, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay, thank you. Now, Carla Salvador. Hello. Hello. Comienzo yo, Carla, usted. Sí, está bien. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pitch.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's a multi page MX30. Okay. First, make sure that the power card is flowing. All right. It is called. You tell me what. Is me what I need to do. I need to do next, please. Second, check that installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appear on this screen, click on complete install. Okay, thank you. Then let's try with Rosalina and Omar. Okay, teacher. Okay. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pips.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Would you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, uh, it is a multi-page MX30. Okay. First, make sure that the power core is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the dry and third, uh, once the menu appears on, a, on the screen, click on complete install. Okay. And finally, because you are three, uh, Gilberto and Omar again, please. Okay. Inicio yo, Gilberto. Okay, Omar. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Jor. I work for Pig Kong. This is the new printer, and I need help sitting up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. 
Can you hold an accept, please? Ooh. It can multi pay and exit. Okay, first, make sure that the power cord is plugging in. All right, it is. Can you tell me what I need to do, to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD in the, is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Thank you very much. Okay, perfect. Well, let's see. par de palabritas que les dieron más problemas son las siguientes plugged plugged in plugged in plugged in You repeat, please. Plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged. Plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in. Plugged in. What is plugged in? Presión encendido. Presión encendido. Conectado. Conectado. Is make sure that the power cord. What is the power cord? What is the power cord? Es la línea de energía. Exacto, es el cable. Para conectar. Es el power cord. Nosotros le decimos la extensión. El, el cablecito que se ocupa para conectar cualquier aparato. TV, coffee, coffee maker, computer. ¿no? The power cord. Make sure that the power cord is plugged in. ¿sí? Enchufado. Ya. Plug in significa es enchufado. Conectado a la corriente. ¿verdad? Metido en el. En el. En, en el ¿Cómo se dice? Enchufe o enchufle. Enchufe. Enchufe. ¿no? Enchufle o no que hay comer. Okay. The power cord is plugged in. Ya. Yeah? Eso no sé si han oído ustedes el término a veces en algunos conciertos o algunos álbumes o algunas grabaciones que se llaman unplugged. Unplugged quiere decir que son sin nada eléctrico, que son sin nada conectado. Solo acústico. Hasta hoy se es. <risa> Eso es, eso significa unplug. ¿Verdad? Que no hay nada conectado, que no hay nada eléctrico, que es que los instrumentos no son eléctricos, son acústicos. Esos son los famosos unplug. Ok. Make sure that the power cord is plugged in. Otra palabrita por ahí que les dio guerra. Vámonos este. todo porque es... al principio me acuerdo que les hablaba de esta, esta combinación muchas palabras no recuerdo exactamente qué palabras eran las que vimos en una de las lecciones al principio 
Shake it or make it. No. El sonidito es it va unido. Put it. Take it. Shake it. Make it. Eat it. Eat it. Drink it. Va unido. Setting it. En este caso, setting it up. La unión. Setting it up. I need help setting it up. Okay? Setting it up. Necesito ayuda. Setting it up. Okay? Setting it up. Setting it up. ¿Qué es lo que qué ayuda necesita? En la configuración. En la configuración. ¿Verdad? Tiene que ver con instalarlo, con eh, configurarlo, con eh, eh. setup puede ser como poner algo, eh, eh. Por, por ejemplo, usted puede decir set up the table, o poner la mesa ya arreglada, lista, ¿verdad? Para la cena, para la comida, set up. Arreglar algo para que funcione, ponerlo listo. Eso es setup. I need help setting it up. Se ayuda para instalarlo, ajustarlo, eh, programarlo, configurarlo, todo eso. ¿Ok? Eh, de ahí, bueno, otras palabritas, pues bueno, menos tanto. Esos fueron los dos que más dificultad le dio a Mario. Ok. So, if you see in this conversation, we have some uh, sentences or some questions that are a request. Questions that express a request. ¿Dónde estás? Solicitando algo. Here. Could you help me please? Could you tell me the model? Can you hold on a second please? Could you tell me what I need to do next please? Yeah. So, cuando tú solicitas algo. When you make a request. Cuando pides algo. So, it's more polite to use could or can but actually could is todavía más polite polite quiere decir más, más educado más refinado verdad más amable que can no es que can sea, sea descortés o rudo o... no pero más amabilidad es good Si alguien al principio podría. Could you help me, please? ¿Podría ayudarme, por favor? Could you tell me the model? ¿Podría decirme el modelo? Could you hold on? Hold on a second, please. En este caso, hold on. Significa como esperar. Permite mi momento. Espere mi momento. Can you hold on? Second, please. Okay. So this conversation, this question, could you tell me, could you describe, podrían haberlo llenado este modo, con could y can, ¿verdad? Estas preguntas, sería la mejor manera de ya sea con can o con could, distintamente. Can you tell me? What the model is, or could you tell me what the model is here? Could you describe the problem, please? Can you describe the problem, please? No. No. 
Look at this. How to use cool for polite and formal requests. Cool for polite and formal requests. Uh, basically, the structure is this. Cool, subject, verb in the base form, plus complement. Seek cool, subject you, write the verb in the base form. Please report split. Cool, subject, the verb deliver in the base form, and the complement. These letters to date. So, for formal request, it's better to use could. Can is more informal. We use can for informal request. Yeah. And the structure is similar. Can, subject, verb, complement. Can, subject, verb. Can, can, subject you, verb right. Complement is for Can, subject you, verb help, deliver these letters. Similar, similar structure. Any question with this? No questions? Okay. Uh, Double look at this account. Write by request that your boss will ask you next week. Escriban cinco cosas o cinco solicitudes o cinco peticiones que su jefe podría solicitarle o pedirle esta semana o la próxima semana. ¿Qué les podrían llegar a pedir? Piensen en eso, o también cosas que ustedes podrían solicitar, podemos combinar, ¿verdad? Cosas que ustedes también le piden a alguien, a un cliente, a un empleado, a un compañero de trabajo, a tech support. En total, escriban cinco requests. Ya sea que probable que, que comúnmente ustedes reciben, que les hacen o solicitudes o requests que ustedes hacen. Combinemos así. ¿Ok? Write five requests. When you finish, raise your hand.
two hands up. Okay, people, I'm going to send you to working groups to share your sentence, okay? Okay. Take your time and share your sentences with your class. Join your group, please, and take turns to talk about your research.
vendedor estaba cumpliendo. Es que esas cosas son delicadas, ¿verdad? Para no perder los clientes. Sí. Sí, sure. Tenemos una duda. Con todas las oraciones, estamos en el dilema si tendríamos que usar el please en todas. O sea, tomarlo como un favor o tomarlo como una orden. Ahí dependiendo como quiera ser. Lo más, lo más educado, aunque sea de venga de el please es siempre una forma educada de hacer las cosas. Okay. Decirle a alguien podría. Ya, ya no es una entonces esta es la idea de la actitud ya una orden ya se usa otra forma sí. do this, do that okay. make, make coffee eso es una orden hace café diferente que me diga could you please make coffee Ok, teacher, thank you. Okay. Agreguémosla entonces. Tengo esta. Could you increase my phone balance, please? Could you increase my phone balance, please? Right, right in the chat. Rico. Yo puse una que dice, could you give me a measure training? Could you? Could you give me a measure training? ¿Qué se puede? ¿Puede ayudarle? Puede la primera escribir un reporte de los ah. contenedores. Sí, puede, puede elaborar el reporte de declaración de contenedores, por favor. Entonces, a ese yo no se le agregué el jefe a ninguna. ¿A, a, a ninguna le he agregado el help. Le voy a agregar a una, por lo menos. Porque así es en el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Con help. Ah, sí, yo tomé eso del ejemplo también. Uh -huh. 
te voy a agregar aunque sea una pues, por cualquier cosa Ok, sí, sí, sí. Ve, aquí estaba Daniel también, pero no veo yo que... Okay. Okay, welcome back. Let's do this. Please write one, one of your sentences in the chat, please. Everybody, write only one. We are going to check some of your sentences. Okay, please go to the chat and we're going to read one by one. Salvador, could you read your sentence, please? Okay. Call you write container repairs report, please. Okay. Good. Holy. Yours. Hi. Um, 
Paul, do the inventory next. One next guy, please. Okay. ¿Qué le falta? ¿Qué le falta? You. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry, teacher. No, 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 sorry. No, sorry. Would you do the inventory next Wednesday, please? Perfect. Good. Edwin. Yours. Okay. Could you print me work forms, please? Perfect. Carlos Jonathan. Hey teacher, could you help me, help me with, perdón, could you help me with the field supervisor, please? Okay, okay, let me help you with that pronunciation. Uh, first, everybody re remember the pronunciation of, uh, is cool. Cool. Okay, the L, la L no suena, la O. Cool. 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 Would you help me with the field supervision, please? Carlos? Repeat. Would you help me with field supervision, please? Would you help me with file supervision, please? Field. Field supervision. Field. Supervision. One more time. Would you help me with the field supervision, please? Would you help me with the file supervision, please. No, feel. 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 Ah, perdón, es que hay un perrito ahí que no lo deja, no lo escucho, teacher, pero no sé si es ahí. Could you help me white the field supervision, please? Okay. One more time. Listen, listen. Ya, ya. Puse el mute. Could you help me with the field supervision, please? Could you help me with the field supervision, please? Okay, help me. Help me. Help me. Yeah. Okay, very good. Omar, your turn. Okay, could, could you give me a measure training? Okay. Todavía se oye la L por ahí. Cool. Olvídense de la cool. L. Cool. 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 Okay. Good. Rosaline. Okay, teacher. Can you help with product conversation, please? Okay. Can you help? With product corrosion? Corrosion. Do you make cotization? Yes. Okay. Cotization. La palabra que yo conozco es estimate. Estimate. Ok, teacher. Estimate. Can you help with product estimate, please?
eso es la fórmula de la transacción. Usted pide una cotización, usted pide un estimate. Ah, estimate. Ok, good. Uh, well, Allison cannot speak. So can you help order the bill? Ok. Uh, Virginia. Hola, hi. Uh, can you update products uh, products price? Okay. Update. Can you update product price? Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Jennifer. Good, good, please, to the headquarters of San Salvador. Okay. Le falta. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Would you? Uh, Habla. Eh, y el please usualmente va al final. Could you go to the headquarters of San Salvador, please? Could you go to the headquarters on San Salvador, please? Okay. O, could you please? Could you please go? También podría ser. Could you please go? to the headquarters of San Salvador. Could you please go to the headquarters on San Salvador? Yes, cualquiera de esas dos formas es, es, es correcto. Okay, you thank you. O el please al final. Thank okay. you. Carla. Can you? Organize a meeting for tomorrow, please. Okay, perfect. Perfecto. Thank you. Could she send report of the boss, please? Ah, esa no es la que puso aquí. Ah, could he busy on Monday, please? Okay. Uh, Daniel. Could, could you have the meeting now? Hola, que puse en el chat. Okay. Can you help me in the work with driving until midday? Okay. Can you help me in my work with driving, driving until midday? Creo que midday es... Mediodía. Sí. Midday. Midday. Otra forma de decir mediodía es noon. Noon. Until noon. Ok. Es el mediodía. Noon. Por eso la tarde se dice afternoon. Pues el mediodía. Afternoon. En Virginia. Ah, Virginia ya había pasado, ¿verdad? Hello. Puso otra. Sí, sí. Eh, can you attend the meeting on Saturday? Okay. Very good. Very good. ¿Ya? Yeah. Oh, siempre es más polite, más refinado, más amable. Siempre usar el please. Um. <laughs> Siempre en los casos, ¿no? 
depende tal vez de con el Ken, es un poco más informal, depende con quién estemos. So we can use something. Uh, maybe with your family, you say, hey, can you pass me the sugar, please? Or only, can you pass me the sugar? Mm -hmm. Incluso, ya, yeah, así que informal con la familia, no solo, hey, pass me the sugar. Pero como ya yeah. estamos viendo en un ambiente más formal, so it's really cool, it's not polite, it's can. Ya, yeah. yeah, nosotros nos suena igual o parecido, no, pero in English, Cool is considered more polite than can. Okay. Well, any question, people? No questions? No, no questions. Oh. Okay, let me share uh, an exercise to practice. Writing exercises. Okay. and food for request. Acá nos dice polite request. So that means that you are going to use could. Polite request is could. Informal request is can. Okay? Remember, polite, could. Formal can. For example, I want to have some coffee. I'm out. So, cool. I have some coffee. Uh, we have some coffee, please.
Okay, people, it is time to stop. Uh, if you haven't finished in the terminal, well, you can finish later, okay? Please remember to complete the exercise from Unit 4 and the final exam. Okay, for tomorrow. Take the last sentence of the evening. Today we studied how to use can for request and could. Could informal and a little bit informal. Let's see, Alison Andrea Serrano. There. Carla Yasmin Rivera. Present. Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Present teacher. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present, teacher. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present. Uh, Gilberto Benito Santa María. Present, teacher. Jennifer Guadalupe Elías. Present, teacher. Uh, José Andrés Martínez. Julio César Fabián. Present teacher. Hey, Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Good night. Alexander Chávez. Present teacher. Raúl Delgado Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez. Present teacher. Hey, Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez. Present teacher. Vladimir Alejandro García. Uh, William Boris Roque. Present teacher. William Rodrigo Ángel. Okay, people. Tomorrow is the last day. With the homeworks. With the exam. Tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.